Thank you, Vice Dean Robertson. To my fellow members of the Wharton class of 2021, what a day and what a past four years. I think I speak for all of us when I say this was the fastest and slowest four years of our lives. All of the experiences have flown by, whether it was being a confused freshman, wondering why joining a club was harder than getting accepted to Penn, or taking a much needed nap in Geo 6 while hearing about the four Ps. We've had a lifetime of memories, to say the least. It goes without saying that none of this would have been possible without the people who have grounded us throughout our journeys. Friends, significant others, the guard who scanned our pen cards to enter Huntsman late at night, family and professors. For me, those people were my parents, uncle, and sister. I can't say I've always seen eye to eye with them, but they're the reason I came to Wharton. In fact, four years ago, I almost committed somewhere else, even though I'd want to come here. It's a long story. But they told me to go where my heart wanted, and here I am. In that spirit, I think we all need to take a moment to say thank you for the experience, feeling, or person that told us Wharton would become our home and our family. But there's another side to every coin. For years at home, whenever I was upset about a rejection or something that didn't go my way, my parents always told me, Jo biote, a chikiliote, which translates to, everything that happens, happens for good. I always nodded along, but honestly, it went in one ear and right out the other. I actually never believed it until recently. Freshman year, I was lucky enough to serve as class president. It was the most exciting way to start college. It gave me my closest friends, and I loved organizing events and meeting new people. But at the end of the year, I lost a tough re-election that felt like the world had collapsed on me. In hindsight, it was really nothing, but in that moment, it felt like everything. And that's when I really wondered, how could my parents saying, Jo biote, a chikiliote, possibly be right? Everything that happens doesn't necessarily happen for good. I simply could not fathom how this loss could possibly be a good thing. Thinking about my parents saying frustrated me even more. Their words didn't change a single thing. I found myself in a dark tunnel throughout my sophomore year, unsure of my identity and worried about losing my best friends. It took months of coming to terms with my feelings and being vulnerable to truly escape. And boy, was it a struggle. But the light at the end of the tunnel was worth it. I walked out self-confident knowing I had the best friends and family in the world. I had more time than I could have imagined and a renewed excitement to explore everything else I loved, from chatting with some of the most interesting guest speakers to hiding out on the top floor of Huntsman past closing to see the view. I even managed to show up to some of my Finance 100 lectures. This year, reflecting on all the other experiences that the loss brought me, I couldn't help but be grateful. I look back at it as one of the most fundamental learning experiences of my life. Just as with that experience, I started to see that maybe, just maybe, there is good to be found in everything. I can't help but wonder though, does everything that happens really happen for good? I've realized the answer is no. Not everything that happens, happens for good. But jo bhi hota hai, achche ke liye hota hai, agar hum chahe. Everything that happens, happens for good only if we want it to. So we, and we alone, have the opportunity and ability to attach good 
to everything that happens to us. This mindset ties well with two principles we've learned here at Wharton that we should continue to embody. First, we should want to find good in other people. We should remember that everyone at Wharton has a story. Our surroundings, whether they were growing up right outside of Philly or on the other side of the world, shape us and our actions. Yet our collective desire to improve our communities binds us together. As we continue to meet new people, we should radiate that shared positivity. Give your peers the benefit of the doubt. Give that person you met a second chance. Give a stranger in Wharton 101 an opportunity to show their good. Our next phase of life will bring people and memories as great as this one, as long as we want it to. The second principle is, given that we can attach good to all our encounters, we should seek out more risks and experiences. We should continue the free spirit of exploration we've embodied here in our future endeavors. Let's tackle anything heads on, knowing we can make something good out of it. So take that love for TikTok as an opportunity to become a creator. Use your excitement about Latin music to learn to salsa and immerse yourself in another culture. When you feel the flutter in your heart, ask that special person out. Today is our day to celebrate. And not only to celebrate an amazing four years, but the start of another beautiful chapter in our lives. The Wharton class of 2021 is a class of storied entrepreneurs, authors, artists, politicians, musicians, and so much more. But above all, we are a class that seeks out and shares the good in life. And I truly believe if we can see the good and be the good, then good will happen to us. So yes, mom and dad, you were totally right. Jo bhi hota, achche ke liye hota. Thank you.